when regulatory tyranny becomes bad enough, circumvention is easier than compliance. We had a chance to speak with Joe Salatin at Homesteaders of America about marketing your farm products directly to your customers. Check it out. I got a quick question for you as far as marketing directly to customers from your farm. Okay, you've, I know you've written everything I want to do is illegal. Um, you can farm and all those things, but if you're going to give a quick snippet as far as the, the most like legal way or the easiest way to market directly from your farm to sell, let's say, beef and sheep, what would you say the most effective way to do that is? Uh, are you saying you're going to butcher it on your farm too? Yeah. You're going to do the whole thing on your farm? Yeah. Okay, so... Well, that's a deep one. Yeah, it is a deep one. Well, there, there are numerous schools of thought. Okay. Um, one is, of course, the the uh, PMA, okay. the um, Membership Association. Okay. Um, there are kind of uh, two denominations within the PMA umbrella. Okay. Um, and and so I, I'm not going to drill all into that. I'm just going to say that the, the, the private membership association is a is an option, but it, but it has it has problems. Okay. Uh, when you go when you go over, when you go to 400 members, uh, pretty much courts have ruled that it's now public. Okay. So it, it starts to break down and scale. Okay. That's this one of the issues. Um, but for a hyper local market, that's for a viable a, option. Hyper local, okay. hyper local might be viable. Okay. <clears throat> Another is to sell a, an instructional an instructional video, for example. Okay. And give and give away the meat as part of the class. Okay. So with with the with this internet now and the ability to easily photograph stuff, right? You could easily you know sign up for this uh, butchery class. And and we'll give you whatever. This. Okay. Um, another one is you can you can sell an animal live. There's no regulation that's selling the animal live. Okay. And then you can you can part it out. Just remember, it's the same price live as dead. So where they'll get you is if somebody comes and says I want to buy a live animal for you, and you price it differently than if somebody says I want to buy. I have to be live, wink, wink, yeah. butcher it for me. If those prices are different, then they'll pierce that that charade okay. and, and, and get me. So so if I came to you and said, hey, I want to buy a steer and butcher it myself, okay. it's got to be the same price as if you butcher it for me. Okay. So don't discriminate don't discriminate between, don't, the, two don't discriminate activities. between the two activities or, okay. or else it's not it's not actually real. Okay. You, got, you are, because you can't charge for butchering. Right. Okay. Right. So you can you, you can charge for the live animal, you can't charge for butchering. Right. So for example, uh, like with chickens. Yeah. Um, if your if your people buy them live, let's say somebody wants twenty chickens, they can buy those chicks and then they can pay you a caretaker. Right. Okay. And um, and the caretaker's fee includes butchering them and putting them in the bag. Okay. Okay. So again, you're not charging for that service. Now if somebody comes and says I want to buy a chicken live, take it home and butcher it. It's got to be the same price. Right. That, that, that's the consistent. It's got to be a package deal the whole way through. It, it, it's got to be consistent. Okay. 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 Uh, it's got to be consistent. Interesting. Um, there's a guy in Oregon. What he does is he has an agreement with a person um, where they buy the animal, they take the meat, and he takes the guts. Okay. And so he's butchering it for the guts. Okay. And giving the meat away. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And they've tried to close him down, and he they can't they can't do he it. Must like coyote hunting. <laughs> he just wants the guts. Yeah. yeah. It just depends. Some yeah. people really. Yeah. We, he, have, we have customers that want, use all the parts. Every yeah. Part. yeah. 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 Well, he composts them, but yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's all what you use it for, though. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, uh, I mean, we we look. We all know it's a loophole. We all know yeah. it's yeah. an end yeah. run. Yeah. It's a circumvention. But you know, there's a point at which, when regulatory tyranny becomes uh, bad enough, circumvention is easier than compliance. Yeah. Yeah. And that's of okay. course the that's of course the you know the background of the whole road food conference. Can you say that one more time? When regulatory when when regulatory tyranny gets to a point, um, circumvention is easier than compliance. Okay. Circumvention over compliance. Yeah. You know, as long as you can rock along with it, you comply. You know, right. who wants to who wants to fight? 
Right. Can't but, fight everything but, all the time. But, but, but finally, it gets to where it's so onerous yeah. that a small operation or a direct or direct market operation yeah. uh, can't jump through all the hoops, or or at least realistically jump through all the hoops. And then and then actually, the better response is yeah. how do we make an end run <laughs> instead of trying to yeah. you know okay. uh, run through it. Because you'll spend all your time trailblazing, and you won't ever yeah. actually be able to yeah. make a difference in the community. Right. Now, there's, you know, there there are other, you know, as as you head down this this path, uh, I don't know if I can, you know, think of all the options, but one is of course pet food. Yeah, pet food is really a a big deal now. Uh, you know, there's a lady in uh, Wisconsin selling. Uh, She's she actually is selling it as fish. Okay. There's no regulations on fish. Yeah. Sure. So I'm selling fish bait. So she's got fish bait, Colby, fish bait cheddar. Yeah. And, yeah. It's like pet milk. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, not for human like, consumption. Yeah, dairy, yeah. Our dairy and, and, and so, so the whole pet milk thing yeah, yeah. has been a. See, here's the thing: the bureaucracy, they're here to protect us. Yeah. Right. And so the beauty of the pet milk thing is from from a. A political American. It's hard for me to even step into the mentality of a, of a food police, yeah. but but when I try, I realize, oh, that absolves them yeah. of responsibility. Yeah. Now it's right. off their plate. Right. They don't they're, care. Yeah, they're not neglecting the public. Yeah. Right. This yep. isn't for human consumption. Yeah. Right? So th that's one. So there, there's good a, insight. Yeah. There, there's a few. Um, and there are more coming, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, as as more as more and more clever minds, yeah. you know, yeah. are, are devoted to this. Yeah. And as the regulations continue to increase. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's always interesting to to wonder where does a declining empire go? And if you look at history, especially the Romans, yeah. Um, yeah. as empires decline, they become more and more tyrannical. Because they're, they feel like they're losing control, right? Yeah. You know, so we got to control, control, control. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so my sense is that as our empire declines, and I believe it is, um, that there will be the last gasps of control come out, and it'll probably it'll probably get worse before it gets better. Yeah. So one more on the tail of that, because you initially you mentioned PMA. I've heard a little bit about them. I don't know a ton about them. Do you have any good resources, or what's your experience with the PMA process? Is it pretty straightforward, or well, is... it, 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 it 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 depends. I mean, you can there there are now people. Yeah, you can you can Google it up, and you'll find the two denominations. And sure. There are now people that you can you know you can pay. I don't know. A few thousand dollars too. It's not a lot. Right. Who will give you the paperwork? Okay. You know, I mean, an attorney. You know, there, yeah. there, there's a couple attorneys in in the groups that will that will for you know whatever five thousand dollars. Yeah. Here's your paperwork. Boom, you're, you're up and running. Yeah. Okay. And um, and that's a uh, so so that has matured to that point. But this but this volume this scale thing is a real problem. Here's the here's the thing. Just because you say it's a private membership association doesn't mean it is. Right. It only is if a judge says it is. Right. And the thing about PMAs is they are so early. They're so early in the in this in this space. I mean, they've been used for golf courses for a long time. Yeah. Right. Okay. They were originally started to to escape um, integration okay. Okay. down okay. south. Down yeah. south. Okay. Okay. That's how they were started. Okay. Um, so, you know, for civil yeah. uh, to escape civil rights yeah. requirements. Um, that right there is an interesting, you know, uh, uh, from from a, a political marketing standpoint yeah. to use to to use a template created for, for segregation purpose, yeah. is exactly. a little bit okay. Yeah. Yeah. But but yeah. I, I totally get. Yeah. All right. So these elitists yeah. carved out a place. It's kind of like in Virginia. In yeah. Virginia, several years ago, the wineries yeah. went to the legislature. And carved out. They were being harassed by the localities for doing weddings and events on their wineries. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. And um, and, and, and and so the wineries went down. Of course, you know they're they're well connected. They're yeah. pretty elite. Sure. Right. Yeah. They went out and got and carved out from a, from the legislature actually by right a right to have an event. Yeah. For wineries. Yeah. Okay. So that so that a, a city a county couldn't couldn't regulate make them get them. a license. Yeah. Couldn't yeah. regulate. Okay. Yeah. Well then, the rest of us, we're saying, well, what if I don't want a winery? What if I want to grow chickens and I still yeah. want to have an event? Right. So we actually started pushing and got a study committee together 
and got a hearing together and spent a couple of years actually and finally got it across the board that any farm can have an event by right without a license in Virginia. Okay. So there's an example of a That's kind awesome. of a of a kind of a hoity toity, you know, carve out right. yeah. that then we glummed on to yeah. you know to do it's already gone through because it's, it's already yeah up our, yeah kind of like for us in Illinois we can point to you guys and say hey right. look what they passed in Virginia right. we can use this for us. right like we're all doing like the main sovereignty yeah. rule yeah. you know those kind of yeah. things when those things happen then yeah. you get precedent yeah. no. you get you get precedent and precedent is as you know legal is everything so yeah. the, the PMA thing the the, the, the I was all gung ho on it a couple years ago <laughs> right I've now cooled off because now I'm understanding that if you really do a PMA You've just painted a big target on your back. Come and get me because it hasn't it hasn't been tested through the courts for food yet for right. farming. Right. And okay. so you know what? If I can figure out any other way to not a, be a red flag to attack me for my scheme. Yeah. yeah. Scheme, and I'm yeah. saying scheme in a good word. Scheming yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Um, then I'm gonna figure, I'm gonna try to figure out a different way. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and I love the instructional video thing. Yeah, the, that's that why now, I was climbing onto that. that. That now has real legs, I think, because you could have, you know, you could have 300 people. Yeah. And they're you all know, participating. Absolutely, the sign up, event. sign up for the yeah. video thing, and we give you a free box. I mean, I just think that's, that's, that's using. You know, we we all complain about the internet and the and the and all the you know the digitization of everything. Yeah. This is There's where you. Benefits. This is where you take yeah. their. You take their, their game yeah. and you use it to yeah. create more freedom instead of more centralization. Yeah. And well, that's really cool. We were just talking about this because we have, well, you know, but we've got the six kids that we homeschool. And so we have all other homeschoolers that we have a network of. Right. And, and I would like to, I would actually like to host some actual educational classes. And then that's a way to open up that door then to tie that yep. into anyone who wants that at the end that they they get this process of education and then they happen to have this in in an add-on value type yeah, of thing yeah, you know exactly so it's a matter of how you structure it yeah. so love the conversation there. Yeah. thank you appreciate the it the only yeah. one well, that i didn't that i didn't mention uh is where you you buy something and you get something else for free right like yeah. for example for example we could sell we could sell um um polyface coasters for yeah. example yeah and you buy that for you know fifty dollars and we throw in meat for free okay that's what the, 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 talking about yeah. as well i think the, but but i i find that really difficult to defend when a judge is bearing down on you so is this real or is this really just a, a charade right it's hard to not say that's yeah. a, so here's the thing you can you can press the envelope as hard and as hard as you want to but at the end of the day, you have to live with yourself. Yeah, you, and you someone's have, got to be the tip of the spear. Yeah, yeah. someone's got <laughs> to be the tip of the spear. You have a family and yeah. you have a business yeah. and yeah. you're right. doing these things and you're trying to figure out how to walk that line yeah. of, of of maintaining real life too, you know, yeah, like yeah. and taking care of your family and not right. pushing it so far, right. but also having a business. So yeah. it's tricky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, is, it is tricky. Yeah.